Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, my fellow ladies and friends. This is an awesome opportunity for us to share ideas, share knowledge, and grow together. I'm going to start with the main topic in my book, turning your tragedy into your triumph. Nobody is immune to tragedy in the past, present, or future. What do you do? A lot of people, when they're having a hard time, they resort to drugs, to alcohol, which doesn't help solve the solution. Instead, it makes them spiral down the drain and get into more trouble. Through the grace of the Lord and by the power of God, if you are in any situation, if you look carefully and lean on the Lord, something beneficial always emerges out. So my thing this morning sharing with you is, please, please, please do not resort to drugs. Do not resort to alcohol when you have hard time. Lean on the Lord, go to him. He will direct you and something good will actually come out of that terrible situation. It doesn't matter what. And a lot of time when these things happen, we don't even have control over them. But our God knows. He knows that we're going to get into these problems. And he prepares all the future for us already. If we lean on him, he will walk us through successfully. That is my number one. My number two, take good care of yourselves. We are givers, we give, we give, we give, we walk, 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 run, 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 run. If you do not regroup and refill, you'll be empty. And when you are empty, you don't have the energy. You can't even think right. This is where you do something that you regret. Always remember to take some time to regroup by having quiet time. Uh, some people fast and pray. Some people take some time off travel. Whatever it means for you to take care of yourself, please do. Try to eat right. Drink a lot of water. It's good for you. Um, too much soda is not good for you. When you are young, you may not realize that as you get older, it affects you more. So take some time to care for yourself. I want us to, you cannot avoid listening to people. You will always hear people. At least you don't want to hear them. You cannot shut your ears from hearing them. What you do with what you hear is very, very important. Have that self-confidence leaning on the Lord that you listen to your inner being. What comes out comes into your body from the outside, where it check it out. Don't just go with that flow. And that when something happens, you are like, oh, this person told me that was why I did it. No, listen to your own intuition. If you lean on your inner intuition, there's a living God that is there directing you. He had done this for me. So many times I have done things that I couldn't even explain why, but because I'm leaning on the Lord and he's always right. Always give your very best in anything you do. When you give your very best in anything you do, for me, it gives me that satisfaction that there was nothing more that I could do. It makes me go to bed contented that for that day, I did what I needed to do when I needed to do it to the best of my ability and knowledge. You, I cannot put a price on that. That gave me that self-confidence, that peace of mind that I put my head on my pillow Within seconds, I'm out to light. Not lying there, thinking, what could I, oh, should I, could have, no, 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 could have, should have, is regretting what you should have done or could have done and you didn't do it. So remember to do what you need to do when you need to do it. Sometimes it may be difficult, but in the end, it is very, very satisfying. Remember to be there for each other. Being there for each other matters a lot. As we have gathered already, I have gained so much from you guys. We cannot be uh, a tree in the forest. No, 
we form part of the forest by being trees ourselves and being with other trees. So always have each other to lean on, to glean from, and to move on. The kind of company that you keep will affect you. So be careful whom you have chosen to be your friends. For me, by the grace of the Lord, I will not sit here and say, I regret this, I regret that, because of leaning on the Lord. He had been there for me. He had led me. I am eternally grateful, happy. I have peace within me because I know he has always worked with me. He had given me a wonderful platform in nursing. I am there for my students. I'm there for my patients. I'm there for my neighbors. I'm there for whoever I can have each day. And that gives me joy. I look forward to going in for work. I remember a couple of times, it was a holiday. I wasn't supposed to go in, but because all I'm thinking is my student, my patient, and I walk into the hospital, I hear the hospital uh, nurses on the unit talking about that there being a holiday. I quietly walk out and went back home. I told my kids twice. So now a couple of days before holiday, they called me to remind me, mom, make sure you don't go in. That is how much I appreciate and love what I'm doing because people were there for me. God sent angels in the form of people. And now that he's given me the opportunity to be there for others, I am there wholeheartedly for them. And that gave me so much joy, so much satisfaction. And that has actually brought me here. If it were not where or who I am, I wouldn't be here with you guys. So for that to God be the glory, Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate every opportunity that I encounter. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah.